Horse Handling and Riding Through Feel by Leslie Desmond. For the past 40 years, Leslie's riding students have been coached in the basics of horse handling, riding and healthcare. She says that what she enjoys most about the learning process that takes place with her students and their horses is the simultaneous learning experience it is for her. She says that when you teach a thing you think you understand to someone else, you are apt to gain a far deeper understanding about the value of the information when it's played back to you through someone else's experience. She was a horse lover from the start and had her first gallop at age four in Billerica, Massachusetts. Four years later, her grandmother brought her to a retired cavalryman named Ivan Taylor for a more formal introduction to riding and horsemanship. She credits his gentle approach to horses and people with the keen appreciation she had many years later for Bill Dorrance, the man who taught her most about looking at the world from the horse's point of view. But I'm getting ahead of myself here because the story wouldn't be complete unless I mentioned that after her lessons with Ivan Taylor, at his little stable in Manchester, Vermont, Leslie went right into the business herself, giving lessons on an old horse named Brown Jug that she acquired from a neighbor. Her sign offered lessons to passers-by for one quarter. That first year, she made 50 cents before relocating to a more profitable location. She credits her Uncle Channing and Aunt Jane with starting it all in 1965, when they offered her a position coaching riding for beginners at their children's summer camp. Because it was there in the hills of Berkshire County, Massachusetts, that she started her first string of riding horses that were used by the public. In 1984, Leslie opened a riding school in Western Massachusetts that also offered a horse training, health care and stable management course for beginning riders. Some years later, she moved to California and continued her search for better ways to handle and ride the more difficult horses that she took in for training, as well as the colts she was starting for her new riding school. In 1999, Leslie published True Horsemanship Through Feel. A Horseman's Reference that she co-authored with the legendary horseman and rancher Bill Dorrance of Salinas, California. Bill passed on just five weeks after the publication of their book. And for the next six years, Leslie traveled continuously to many parts of the world to work with her students and their horses. She also demonstrates the principle of horsemanship through feel for students in veterinary schools and police departments in the U.S. and abroad. When someone has come to an impasse in their progress with horses, Leslie strongly believes in the value of reaching out to others who are more capable. Yet she encourages us to look no further than the horse in our own backyard if we want the key to the real stuff. All you need to do, she says, is take the time it takes to expand your powers of observation to the point where you can notice the thoughts he has that are evident before his actions. By then, you will also have some good ideas about how to set the horse up to succeed. That way, the things you initially thought were problems are likely not to be in your thoughts about the horse anymore. 